I've been hoping to do this video for some time. Thanks to Dibel, I have three instruments here that I can test against each other. This is a 16-hull Seidel symphony with an ergo button and a slider. And this is an orchestra-tuned harp, also with a ergo button and slider. And here is a 12-hole C solo tuned, like that orchestra, but standard C solo tuning. Now, as you know, the range of these is all different. Um, this is a 16-holer, like you know. This is what happens with a 16-holer when you tape off the uh, bottom two and top two holes. You get orchestra tuning. And this is what you get from hole 5 to 16 on a 16. So they're all kind of tuned a little differently. And the question is, does the, the pitch of the notes that are not being played have an impact on the tone of the notes that do play? In the same way that, I told you this would be fun, in the same way that a grand piano has a much better tone than an upright. And a baby grand doesn't have as good a tone as a concert grand. And a concert grand usually isn't as good as a true concert grand or imperial by Bosendorfer because there's more strings. They're bigger, heavier. So do we have a similar effect with these three harps? And I'm quite tickled to, um, I'm going to go ahead and put slide oil on these because I always do that to protect them. These are brand new harps available at mastersofharmonica.com that um, Dibel has available and I'm the mad scientist in the whole thing here that puts these suckers together and works on them. Okay, so for our first test, let's take the solo C-tuned 12-holer versus a 16. Okay, so we got 16 holes and that's, that's really what happens. You just lose the, the lowest four holes. Well, of course the lower four holes can't be compared, but we can compare the others. So we'll do it with and without microphone, okay? So here we go with a comparison of some low notes from a solo C instrument against 16. I can hear the difference. The other one's richer. Now let's let's just play around on different areas of the harp now. So far, my theory is correct. I do believe the 16 hole has a better sound tonally and just richer tone. So then, a uh, that the 16 has better tone than just a 12. Okay, and the reason is is that every reed creates a teeny bit of harmonic sound, even if it's not the major one being played. Okay, and that you you do pick that up on some level. So that was in comparison to the 
uh, see, uh, solo tune chart. But suppose I take some, I have some tape here, and suppose that I tape the last two holes of a 16 off, and I take the first two holes, okay? Now, now what do I have? It's an orchestra tuned harp. It goes from G3 to F sharp, um, you know, six. So, uh, you know, this is really, really cool. Let's see what happens here. Let me play the orchestra tuned. And um, uh, of course, the reason I taped them off is I just want to compare note to note on a harmonica. I, uh, you know, I have to, I should only be testing the ones that um, are actually uh, are actually there. And I'm going to pull the tape off only because I want the slider to seat properly, and I don't think it will if it's running over tape. But I will go ahead now and start at G on the 16, G3. <laughs> Okay, so the orchestra tuning duplicates the tonal characteristics of the 16, but let's play all over this thing now. I'm going to play on the 16 in various places, then pick up the orchestra tune. <laughs> Say the sixteen has it. And now the orchestra tuned. And just for fun, let's go back to the solo C now and play it a bit. Now, I would say all of them have pleasing tone. All of them have pleasing tone. But there is a richness and depth and complexity to the note with this. And if we had a machine that could register all harmonics, I think you'd be able to see it, you know, on that uh, printout of the frequencies. So um, I would say in terms of complexity of the tones, the 16 hole is the best. A close second is orchestra tuned, okay? And then we would have our standard C solo. But that's if you want a, a very, very rich tone that's complex. You want your wines that are uh, very complex in the, in the uh, flavors or something that's a little simpler. But anyway, I thought you'd get a kick out of this because this was a unique test, you know. And I would say that the unplayed reeds and the shape of the harp do have an impact on the actual tone of the note course, with these Seidel symphonies, which I think are some of the best built harps in the world, all of them are absolutely exquisite in tone. Hmm.